Good evening, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started with our Bible study for tonight. I want to, um, we're going to continue on in our consideration of these seven significant judgments that we found in the scriptures. Kind of our, our, our series within our series of the Olivet Discourse. And so we've entitled tonight's lesson, um, Rewards and Recognition. And so we're, we're looking at the, the judgment of believers' works. And so we basically have took it our time. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have broke that down into three, three sessions. So I'm going to invite your attention to 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse number 10. And we see those that join us by way of Zoom. We have it up on the screen. I want to take this opportunity again to welcome those that have joined us by way of Zoom, by way of Facebook, by way of YouTube and other social media platforms on later. Again, we, we want to let you know that, that, this, that this Bible study is an outreach of the Isaiah Baptist Church, or the church that we call the Church on the Hill. So we ask that you will pray for our church, and we thank you for joining us in our church Bible study under the direction and leadership of Pastor Melvin D. Diggins. So let us continue to press on towards the mark. So let's find our, our places in 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and let's lift up verse 10 for our consideration. 2 Corinthians chapter number 5 and verse 10 for our consideration should be very familiar to, to those Second Corinthians. Chapter five. There we go. Second Corinthians five and ten. And King James Version of the Scriptures, you shall find uh, these words. The Apostle Paul is writing under the unction of the Holy Spirit, and he says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that every man may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. And again, we're, we're, we're looking at, you know, um, the seven significant judgments that we found in the scriptures, and we, we, we were under the, the aspects of the judgments of believers' works, and we broke this down to our third session within this little session, um, rewards and recognition. So let us pray. Father God, we come to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus, and Father, we do thank you, and we do praise you, God, for who you are, and also, God, for what you are in our lives on today. God, again, God, we thank you, God, that we find ourselves through one more Wednesday, one more, as some would call it, the hump day in the middle of our week. God, that you allow us, oh God, to gather together by way of internet and, and personal, that we can get a, a, a pit stop, that we can get encouraged, that we can get some food for the journey, that we can get a prayer, that we can get refilled, that we can go on and finish out the rest of our week strong, that we will be able to meet in all of our respective places where we can worship you on Sunday in spirit and also, God, in truth. So, Father, we ask, oh God, as we open up our Bibles, that you would allow us to open up our hearts and, God, also our minds. And, Father God, please allow us, oh God, for just a moment to cast aside preconceived notions, preconceived thoughts, and to take your word afresh and anew that we will be able to clearly hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you and we all say amen. We all say amen. And again, we're looking at rewards and recognition. And so I, I'm, I'm reminded that, I think I, I think I mentioned this on last week, that when, uh, in my case, I speak of the Army, I think all military do this, so when we go on a deployment, we're going to exercise, 
when we would get back together and get back to the rear area, what we call it, we would, we would, the leaders would get together and they would decide who they were going to recommend for awards or for being recognized for things that they'd done beyond their normal job, that they exceeded this. And so, and so understand, so we look at the aspect, so understand that we, we talked about before that how, let me say it this way, let me say it this way, that a couple weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, my, my, one of my nephews, he got married, and so we went into a beautiful, beautiful ceremony, and so as they were coming around, as they were coming around, you know, as we do, we, the, the bride and groom come together and they greet all the guests as they come around. So when, 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 when Langston got to me, got to my table, I stood up and I grabbed his wife by the hand and I told her that she's part of the family now. I told her that, I, that, that she is not Langston's wife, that she's my niece, meaning that guess what? She can't get kicked <laughs> out of the family. And so she, she stuck with us and so we stuck with her and so, and so for the same thing, understand this. See, 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 our, your salvation, this may upset some people, but your salvation is secure. See, God, no matter what you do, God's not going to kick you out of the family. All right. But guess what? There may be some things that you and I may do that we may cause ourselves to be out of fellowship with God, but mm -hmm. he won't kick you out of the family. Many times you hear me often talk about my grandfather and the, the one that owned the barbershop, the one that me and Pastor shared. And so many times I was playing, playing in a league in the city. He would come to see my games, but I had a, but I had a bush, but I halfway took care of it, I halfway mm -hmm. honed it. And so, and so granddaddy would show up at the games and he would, and after the game, he would pull me aside, we would embrace, he would say, boy, I love you. But you're bad for business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so meaning, even though he didn't like what I did, mm -hmm. guess what? I was still his. Amen. Guess what? He still never, I was still never kicked or ostracized out of the family. The same way, guess what? See, 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 understand, see, understand this. I'm not saved by what I do. Amen. I'm saved by what he has already done. done. So, so all I have to do is just to receive that free gift that he's already laid aside for me. And so I, I, I told you this, I told you how, how uh, most, most years that we, 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 have, we have to call the grandkids, we have to ask them, you know, what, what do you want for Christmas? What, what do you want? And so we have to ask the parents. And, and so, but this year, that granddaughter of mine, you know, she, she, you know, you know after, after, she's, a, she's a girl after my own heart. She, she made it known what she wanted. She wasn't waiting. <laughs> she wasn't beating around the bush. So she put her request in. Well, and so guess what? We got it, but it's a gift. Amen. And so being in the gift, all she has to do is to receive it yes. because it's already hers. It's already hers. It's already been sitting down to Florida and just waiting for mm -hmm. her to open up. It's a gift. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't earn that gift just by, but by nature of that she is me and my wife's granddaughter that she received this gift. Are you seeing that? Mm -hmm. Just like my salvation or your salvation, you and I have received this gift. But when we talk about rewards, on the other hand, those are things that we have to earn. Those are things that we have to work for. And as I said on last week, and so don't count your chickens before they're hatched. So guess what? I cannot, it's not possible for me to lose my salvation, but I can lose my rewards. As Paul said that after I have preached to others, I myself will be a castaway. I myself will be disqualified mm -hmm. for receiving the rewards that I have labored in the gospel for. Is anybody seeing that? Yes. So, so, so our outline tonight is very, very simple. And so first of all, we want to look at the category of ruling. And second, the category of crowns. So without further ado, let's dig in and really just see just what God is saying unto you and also unto, unto me. Un, un, unto me. So first of all, I want to submit to you, understand this, that the small things matter. Turn with me to the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel of Luke, 
chapter number 19, and let's look at verses 16 and 17. The Gospel of Luke, verses 16 and 17. The Gospel of Luke, chapter number 16. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Gospel of Luke, um, chapter 19, and verses 16 and 17. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but let me let me slow down. So the Gospel of Luke, um, starting at verse number 16, and it says, Then came the first, saying, Lord, thy pounds have thy gain ten pounds. And verse 17 says, And he said unto him, Well done, thy good servant. Because thou hast been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over ten cities. So no, notice what we say. So first thing that jumps off the page is that, is that me is that God is watching. So watch me now. So the little things that I do, the little things gonna matter. And so notice he said, because you have been faithful over a little. So see, many times, many times, watch me now, see, we want to do the big things. We, we, we get so excited with doing all the big things, but God is paying attention to the details. He's paying attention to the little, the, 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 so what we would call small things, you know, it's, uh, so he said, because you have been faithful in a little, guess what? One thing that, that I, I, I like that, and so one thing that it says to me, guess what, is that I don't have to do it all. Yes, those little things, guess what, that he has placed in my hands to do. We used to have a saying when we were down in Kentucky, and when the church said, whatever your hands find to do, do it. And so it's those little things. So the mother noticed, mother noticed what he says, because thou hast faithful in little things, thou shalt have what authority over, what, ten cities. And so, but, but, but let, let, let's keep in mind, let's keep in mind that, that, when Jesus said this, he's speaking to an audience of a first century. So meaning that their, recollect, their recollection of a city is different than ours mm -hmm. because of the time frame that they lived in. Is anybody seeing that? And so remember that they didn't have cars like we have. Every, most every place they got, they either walked or they traveled on, on camels or donkeys. Are you seeing that? And so the Bible declares that everywhere that Jesus went, that they, they walked. They went by foot. So meaning that 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 the city see see a city is not like we, we think of Baltimore, or we think of Moncton, or we think of Ellicott City, or we think of someplace like that. See, Baltimore, in the scheme of things, in the United States, it will be considered a small city, a small place, and in, in, in scale to other cities. Is anybody seeing that? But in the Bible, it's not so. The, but Baltimore would be considered large, a larger than the Galilee, a larger than the Capernaum, a large. So, so, so when he says cities, it's not like we would think of a Baltimore or 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 or, 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 or Cleveland or someplace like that. And so not even to some of our larger cities. But but he said, but he's going to make the rule. So many. So don't get caught up in the city part, but get caught up that guess what? If I'm faithful in a little things, guess what? He's going to give me rule over some things. He's going to give me authority over some things. Yes. Watch me now. Let, let, let me say this before we move on. See, as we look at this whole subject, see, this is me. It's what I believe. And so I don't have a lot of Bible. So this is just my opinion. So you don't have to pay attention to it. <laughs> it's just my opinion. So, But I, I believe that in the millennial kingdom, that God is going to bless his people to do things where maybe they never got a chance to do in this dispensation. Mm -hmm. See, 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 where, where somebody may have, where, where maybe a lady, she really had a passion for children and, and wanted to have children, but it was never in the car for her to have children. God is going to bless her to have children in the millennium. But guess what? See, 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 the reason... The Bible declared the reason that, that there's pain in childbirth is because of sin. But in the millennial kingdom, sin will be removed. So you, you'll be able to have a child, guess what, in a perfect environment. Is anybody seeing that? 
guess what? So, so, so even when it comes to church, and so somebody go and say, Alex, when it comes to church, so just imagine if you and I can come to church and don't have to deal with nobody's sin. <laughs> don't have to deal with nobody's attitude. Don't have to deal with somebody telling you, this is my seat. And get and getting their face all twisted up and and so so just imagine you know there's some of you out there that that you that you're blessed with the gift of singing and so just imagine I'm able to come to a choir practice or come to a choir rehearsal and there's no sin involved so see see God God's gonna bless us with these things but guess what so maybe I'm getting all upset because I didn't because God gave me a passion for this thing God gave me a passion for it. But I never got to do it in this dispensation. But maybe God is saving it for the millennium so where I can be able to do it in a perfect environment. Amen. I will be able to, to, to sing in a perfect environment. Amen. I will be able to, to do whatever it is, whatever my passion is in a perfect environment. And I wouldn't have to deal with my shortcomings because I'm, 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 I'm in a perfect environment. But Jesus, the Bible said that Jesus is going to rule with a right eye. So, so mean that he's going to, we have a loving, perfect dictator that's ruling righteously. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's ruling us, that loves us more than we love ourselves. So guess what? I get to fulfill my passion. And maybe I never got a chance to do it in this dispensation, in this time. But I get to do it, guess what? In a perfect environment. I have to deal with nobody's attitudes. I have to deal with nobody's sin. I have to deal with even my own shortcomings. So, one, so, so I can, I can, de I can do it in a perfect environment. But Jesus, but back to us text, He said, because you have been faithful in a little things, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give you rule over ten cities. Now let's turn a couple pages back. Let's look at Luke 16 and 10. Luke 16 and 10. And notice what he says. He says, he that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in least is unjust also in much. We used to have a, we used to have a, a saying, it was one of the first things that you learn if you join the infantry. So they say, what you do in peacetime is what you're going to do in wartime. See, 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 many, so you hear many people talk, well, when the when athlete war, I'm going to be different, but, but, but sister, prove that what we do in peacetime is what we're going to do in wartime. So guess what? So, so God is saying the little things are important. And this is why you and I have to learn to learn to be faithful to God, because guess what? Because look, notice what he says, he that is faithful in the least, guess what? So if I'm faithful in the little things, then when God, then God will trust me with the bigger things because I'll be faithful. So guess what? So it starts always with the little things and it grows into the larger things. So guess what? So, so, so if God has maybe just given me authority over my little old family, over my little old, 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 old spouse, 2.2 children, mm -hmm. Two cars in the garage. So if I can't be faithful over that, why do I think that God is going to mm. give me a city? No, so, so, so understand. So, 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 so that's why it's to be faithful. We said uh, another phrase we had when I was in the army. We said before you can lead. Watch this now. You have to learn to follow. See, nobody starts off leading, but, but so could it be, could it be, could it be right now, even though maybe things are not going you in my way, could it be that we're in God's training program and that he's training you and me so that we may be able to rule those cities, rule those towns, rule whatever it is that he is planning on giving to us, but understand what the scriptures say, but guess what, I have to learn to be faithful mm. in the small things and a little thing because that will grow into the larger things. So, see, I don't start off, just like I tell you all the time, that when Peter came, remember the story with Peter, when, when Jesus sent the disciples out and he, and he came, he came walking on the water and, and Peter, when Peter recognized, he said, Lord, if it be you, bid me to come out on the water. Yeah. And Jesus said, come. 
And then know that when Peter started walking on the water and walking towards Jesus, then the devil got mad and the storm said, but what I, what I want to point out about that, Peter didn't start out the first day be able to walk on water. Is anybody seeing that? Right. He didn't start out the first day be able to trust Jesus to command him to walk on water, but, but, through, but, but, but through trials and temptation, through, through lessons, through bumps, through falls, through disappointments, that therefore he learned how to walk on water. And so understand this, so, that's, so it always starts with a small thing, mm -hmm. and it grows into a much larger thing. So, so, so I just believe, you know, thank you, Jesus, that God has you and me mm -hmm. in his training program. All right. So now, so if we can be faithful in this dispensation, guess what? There's so much more bigger things laid up possible for you and me, but, 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 but don't, don't miss it. But in the millennial kingdom and also over in eternity, there's no sin. And so we'll be able to do these things in a perfect environment. We'll be able to do these things in, in a perfect environment. We're not to worry about sin, attitudes, or any other thing. And so, so we'll be able to do these things in a perfect environment. Now let's turn to Matthew chapter number 25. And let's look at verse, starting at verse number 20. Matthew 25 and 20. Matthew 25 and, and, and 20. And this is, this is very familiar. We went over this before, but just for a little bit refresher. And he says, And so he that have received five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Mm -hmm. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Mm -hmm. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. So watch this now. Don't, don't, don't miss it. So, so God... So guess so so we're we're working to earn rewards. But but I'm gonna turn what God gives me into a way of serving him even more. So, 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 so somebody missed that. See, see, see what see the things that God placed in my hand or your hand, we are to take that and turn that into more service for him. See, 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 God does not give me things just that I would keep up things. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but God gives us, see, 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 I, I remember I'm not going to, I'm not going to call out in, in, any church or anything because we all have our individual walk, we have to walk with God, but, but, but there were some big old churches in the United States and they had floods and stuff in the area and they would not open up the, the, the church for, for, for the people to come in. And so what, what, watch me now, but God bless you with that big old building. Mm -hmm. He bless you with that building, not just so you can pack crowds in there and line your pockets, but he bless you that building so why? So that you can serve him with it. And so, so, so understand, so whatever God has blessed us with, we may not have a big, multi, you know, mega building Amen. and anything like that, but what God has blessed you and me with, we are to turn that in to serving him. So, so guess what? So my rewards... <clears throat> It's not just for me to, uh, excuse me, not just for me to have, but for me to turn it into, guess what, greater service for him. And so, but I, but I always understand, it starts with a small thing. He's, but notice, but notice in, in our text, he said he gave him five pounds, but he went out and earned five more. And so this word here in, in Matthew 25, pounds equals to money. And so he gave his servants some money. And so he went, and he invested, he invested, and he invested. But understand this, but the process, he did not just go out and do it one time. Mm -hmm. And guess what? The first time he did it, you know, logic tells us that he, did, he was not a success. So sometimes, watch me now, as I'm working, as I invest in what God has given me, it may not be money, but if I invest in my time, if I invest in my efforts, if I invest in who I am, and so, and so, and so I may not always see a return from that, but guess what? If I keep working and I keep working, and I, I keep working, I keep working at it, then guess what? Guess what? And, and the servant double what the master has given. Mm -hmm. See, understand? See, sometimes God gives you or me things. Why? Because I'm to invest it in the kingdom. 
I am to, I am to, I am to, I'm to invest it in, in the kingdom. And so I'm to, I'm to do these things. Why, why? Why? So because everything that God gives me, I am to turn it around into a blood, into a way of serving him even the more. See, God not never give, gives us something just to hoard it, just to hold on to it. And so, but, but, but he wants us to use these things. He wants us to be able to use these, 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 these things that he has given us. You know, we use them that as we serve then him, and we use those things as we're serving him for the glory of God. Mm. And so now let, let's shift gears a little bit. Let's shift gears a little bit. And so now look at the category of crown. And so, so, so in the New Testament, the New Testament mentions five crowns that we, that, 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 that we see in the New Testament. We see five crowns that are mentioned. And so we're going to we're take our time. We're going to walk through. And we're doing pretty good in time because I was afraid we wasn't going to be able to get through all of it. So we're going to make an effort. But if we're not, we're going to put a period here. And we're just going to finish up on next time. But, but let's dig in and let's see just what God is saying. So the first crown that I want to call to your attention is the in is the incorruptible crown. So let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter number 9 and verse number 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter number 9. And in verse 24, again, the Apostle Paul is, is writing unto the church at Corinth, but we're eavesdropping. And so, and so, verse Corinthians 9 and 24, Know ye not that they which run a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And verse 25 says, And every man that strive for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. And so, so, we, see, so we see this corruptible crown, and, 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 and it is given for, for victory or for victors. It's the victor's crown for having victory in the Christian life. So, so again, we see even on our base scripture, we see that Paul is referring to a thing that was called the Isthmian Games. And th th this was kind of like the grandfather of the Olympic Games. And so, and so even now, you notice that when, when, they, when, they, when they win, they have the gold, the silver, and the bronze, they put a, they put a wreath on their head. But this wreath, I don't know if it's real now, but it used to be real back in the day. So, but, but, but because the reap, because it was greenery at, at a time, it would fade away. Mm -hmm. It would die. It would corrupt. And so, and so Paul was saying, they, that they disciplined their body. They ran in the race. They, 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 they lifted the weights. They, 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 they did what, whatever it is, what the activity, whatever it is, what the competition did, they did it to obtain, guess what? A, 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 a reef that would fade away. But we are working for what, but the crown that you and I are going to receive is incorruptible. It's not going to fade away. It's not going to tarnish. It's not going to get old. And so, so, but, 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 so, so, but that's what, but, but it's forgiven for us, those that have, that have obtained victory in the Christian life. But notice what he says. See, I cannot obtain victory just by showing up. See, let, let, let's read it again. Know ye not that they which run in the race... All run. Everybody run, but only one going to receive the prize. Only one is going to receive the gold medal. Only one is going to receive the prize, but they all run. So, so but, 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 but notice what it says in verse 25. But every man that strives for the master is temperate in all things, meaning that I got to put some work in. I got to put some effort in. See, 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 we live in a day, we live in a time, even in church, where everybody want to come to church talking about I'm decreeing and I'm declaring all this. That's all fine and dandy. But like, our, but like the vice president says, you got to put in that work. You got to be willing to do the work. You got to be willing to discipline yourself. You got to be willing to say no to me sometimes. I got to say no to me every now and then. Why? 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 Because understand this, see, 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 see being, being faithful to God is a hard thing. 
And so he goes, sometimes, guess what? I have to discipline myself. I have to say no. Why? Because, but, but guess what? I am striving to receive an incorruptible crown because while I want to obtain victory in this Christian life, because, because understand this, understand that God is watching. As we saw before, that's why little things matter. So as I begin to discipline myself, let me say it this way. When, when, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, my aspirations, I wanted to play in the NBA, I wanted to play professional basketball. So, so as I'm, so as I'm growing up, so, so I, so, so I would get on these kicks, thinking Perry. I get on these kicks where I wouldn't drink no soda. So my, my, my uncle Roger played basketball. I found out that he, he, he ate drank apple juice. So I got this. So mommy had to buy me the same apple juice that he drank, and so, so, so all this stuff, and so I'll be, I'll be hanging out with my friends, and we'd be about to eat, and our parents told us we can have sodas, and so I say, no, I don't want no soda, I want some juice, why, because, because in my mind, as I put in the soda, that was clogging stuff up, so I couldn't grow, so I couldn't do what I needed to do on the basketball court, so, so I was disciplining myself, why, because I had a so-called goal, in this life, are, are, are you seeing that? Are you seeing that? And so, so meaning that that, I, that you and I just don't obtain victory just by showing up. You and I don't get rewards just by showing up. You don't I don't get crowns just by showing up. Mm -hmm. se se secondly, let's look at the crown of life. Let's turn over to Revelations of chapter number two and verse number ten. Revelation two and ten. Revelations 2 and verse number 10. Revelation 2 and 10. He says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation, Ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And so, and so, so this is what is called the modest crown. Those that have paid the ultimate costs for Christ. Those that paid the ultimate cost. See, see, see. So most of us, see, we, we we can't even go to work and tell people that we serve God. See, most of us, we, we, we were satisfied with being a secret agent Christian. Yeah, guess what? And so, and so, so, so we want to be the CIA representative, and so we, we so we want to be all undercover and all COVID and, and, all, and all, all this other stuff going on. But guess what? This crown is given for those that, that boldly confess, but, but, all, but also uh, pay the ultimate price for that, so the devil has cast them into prison. See, understand this, understand this, understand. See, everything that happens to us is not about those people. The Bible yeah. says it like this, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against, against these, these, these rulers in high places, meaning that the, the devil and these imps, that they're trying us, that they're taking us through, we're going through things. And meantime, guess what? He can get into folk, and yeah. folk will do something to us, but it's hard for us to have to realize that it's not that person, but it's that devil behind them. Thank it's that you. enemy behind them. And so, so so, I can't spend all my energy getting mad at them. Yes. Because why? But, but I have to learn. I have to learn that I'm fighting these friends. But notice he said, the devil shall cast them in the thing. But he shall, he shall put, it shall be 10 days. Mm. What's the big thing about 10 days? Meaning, guess what? Whatever the devil is allowed to do to you and me, he's got a time limit. See, God is yeah. not going to let him go on and go on and go on and go on. He's got a time limit. The Bible says it this way, that weeping may endure for a night. Yes. But guess what? Joy is coming in the morning. Meaning it's only, you know, my, my suffering can't last always. I believe what James Cleveland says, says, says that bad times don't last always. So, so it's got a time limit. So God has given him a time limit. But yeah. also, but understand this. Understand this. Watch me now. See, 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 God will not put more on you and me than what we can bear. And the Bible says, even in that, always giving me a way of escape. See, sometimes it feels like I'm stretching. I'm being stretched. I'm being yeah. beyond. I can't take this. I can't do this. But guess what? God has already given that situation a time limit. And God. so, and so, so, but, and so, but, but understand this, but, but, but please, but, but, but this is a crown 
for the martyrs, for those that have paid the ultimate cost yes. for their faith. And God is going to recognize them by giving them a crown and by honoring them with, 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 with this crown. Thirdly, we see the crown of glory. The crown of glory, we find that in 1 Peter uh, chapter number 5, verses 2 and 4. 1 Peter chapter number 5 and starting at verse number 2 and it says feed the flock of God mm -hmm. which is among you taking the oversight thereof not by constraint but willingly not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being Lord over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. And verse 4 says, And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And so most people put this, put this crown in the category of what is called the elder's crown. But I believe yet not, not just for the elder, but for, 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 for leadership, for, for those that are in leadership. So, so, so guess what? Guess what? I may never be called to lead a church, but yeah. God calls me to lead my family. Thank you. Lord. See, see, so, so, hmm. so, 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 so in that leadership, as, as I continue to feed the flock, as I continue to feed, yeah. as I continue to do things and I continue to do things. I, I really want to encourage all of you out there, especially with young children. And so understand this, understand this. To so see the younger that we can get the gospel into them, yeah. the, the more they can serve God, but the more they will be dedicated for God. Yeah. And so and so 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 what I'm saying, see, 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 watch me now. Watch yeah. me now. And so 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 I'm so I'm I'm doing a lot of the work for you. Yeah. I'm doing this Bible study. Guess what? I'm not. I'm not just giving you these outlines because I don't have nothing to do. Guess what? I got yeah. plenty. I got plenty to do. Yeah. But what I'm, I'm giving you got 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 these scripts. You got this outline. You got all. So I done done most of the work for you. Now yeah. you can sit down with your family and you can go over this. You can go yeah. over this and you can go yeah. over it. Maybe you can start something on your job. Yeah. Let, let, let's have a little. Let's have a little quick Bible discussion yeah. on a job. Here's the outline. Let, let's hear the scriptures. Yeah. Let, 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 let's, let's discuss these scriptures. Let's go over these scriptures. See, what, 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 what are we doing? I'm, I'm being a witness for God. Yes. I'm, I'm leading people. And so, I'm, 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 guess what? But I don't get a crown by just showing up. No. So, so I have to go above and beyond. Yeah. And sometimes, watch me now, watch me now. I have to learn to step out of my comfort zone. And so, so, so understand this, understand this. And so, when, when I was first received or accepted my call to be a minister of the gospel, guess what? If I could have mailed it in, <laughs> I would have mailed it in. But, but, but I remember, I remember, I remember, I don't know if the bishop is listening, but we, we, we were in the church, we were in the church, and when it was come my time to preach and stuff, we had the little room that we go to, we praying. And so then, then, then we prayed, then, they, then whoever turned, so whoever turned was it to preach, they would stay in and do final preparation, do final prayer. See, what I was doing in that room, I would grab the doorknob, mm. and I would get my nerve up, because I knew once I opened the door, mm. <laughs> mm. I couldn't, I had to go, I had yeah. to go forward. Yeah. And so, 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 so I'm, I was up there getting, I wasn't doing no praying, I'm getting my nerve up so I could walk out here and do what God told me to do. But, 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 but watch me now. So I stuck that the humble beginning. But now, guess what? See, look at things now where we're on the internet, where we're online, where we're, we're preaching that, that, you know, to hundreds, even before COVID and all this going on. Yeah. And so, but it started with me being in a little room mm. trying to get my, my nerve up. But, but guess what? See, but, but, mm. but what am I saying? That sometimes, so when God calls us to do something, mm. guess what? He pushes you and me out of our comfort zone oh, so that yeah. we can serve him. See, see, God gives you and me passion for yeah. Things. As yeah. I said before, 
See, see, God gives us some passions for these things, but guess what? I may never get to fulfill my passion in this yeah. dispensation, but guess what? He's going to allow me to do it in the millennium in a perfect, sinless yeah. environment that I can worship and I can serve God to the fullness. Thank and you. I don't know about you, but, 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 but that's enough right there yeah. just to have a, a praise break. Just that, yes. but, but this crown, the crown of glory, is for the elders slash the leaders, yeah. the, lead, the leadership crown, the leadership crown. And so, and so, so let, 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 let's, let's hasten just a little bit. Yeah. Fourthly, the crown of righteousness. Crown of righteousness, we find that in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse number 8. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 8. 2 Timothy 4 and 8. So, so, so it says, so, 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 his, so, verse 8 says, Henceforth, there is laid up for me, here it is, a crown of righteousness, mm -hmm. which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at the day, and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing. And so, 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 so this is the crown given for those that live a righteous life for the Lord. And so, and so, what, so, 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 watch me now. So, 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 we talked about this before. So, righteousness, there, there's two sides to it. There's two sides to the coin. And so, the first side is what is called, watch me now, imputed righteousness. Imputed righteousness. And so, and so, and so, what is deposited into I account. And let, let me say it this way. So, so my, 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 my oldest grand, our oldest grandson, he, he's still in, the, him and his mom are still over in, in, in Japan serving in the Air Force. And so, but, but he wanted, he wanted some money for Christmas. <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted some money. So what I had to do, and so because I, so, so I, I went and got him a gift card. And I took on the gift card and I deposited money on the gift card. I took the card, got on the regular card, put in the card, and I put, I put it in the mail. So my point is that I, I imputed money onto this card so that he can use. See, that, that is imputed righteousness. So God has imputed his righteousness into our account. So now, guess what? When God looks at you and me, he treats us as the righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. It treats us as, as, as that, that that's imputed righteousness mm -hmm. because 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 my connection with the son that I get that righteousness imputed. But the second but the other half, half of the coin is practical righteousness. Mm -hmm. So he so he imputed righteousness, but now practical righteousness is the righteousness that I have to walk out. That I have to walk. That, that so, so, so so now so now I have to live a life that what that is right with God. And so, so because, because he is imputed to me, so now my response to him imputed the righteous to me is that this is how I live. And so, but, but, but a special crown, not, not, not that I just do the bare minimum in my righteousness, but I go above and beyond. See, I go, just like we looked at the scripture before, when, when, when God told him to be an example. Mm -hmm. So we are to be an example to one another. We are to encourage one another. And so we, we are to make sure that my life is being right with God. My life is being right with what I know in the scripture. My life is being right with what I've learned in church, what I've learned in Sunday school, what I've learned in Bible school, what I've learned in my own personal. My, my, so, my, so, but that, 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 so that righteousness, so, so it's been imputed. But also now, because it's been imputed, it's practical. I begin to walk that thing out. And finally, the fifth crown. The fifth crown is, 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 is the crown of rejoicing. And let's find that in, in 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2 and verses 19 and 20. 1 Thessalonians chapter number 2, starting at verse number 19. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse number 19. For, for what is our hope? or joy, or crown of rejoicing, 
are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming. And verse 20 says, For ye are our glory and joy. And so this is what is called the soul winner's crown. So notice what it says. And so, so you are our, our joy and our rejoicing. Meaning that, that as, as we witness, mm -hmm. as God uses us to bring others to Christ, that is our joy and that is our rejoicing. And so, 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 so understand this. So understand. So we are, we are all called to be witnesses. But, 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 but I've been around specifically some, some men and we've been hanging out and they have the gift of evangelism. Mm -hmm. but, but Paul told Timothy, watch me now. He said, do the work. See, I'm in that category. I have to do the work. See, see it's not easy for me. See, I, 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 mm -hmm. I, I, I've been hanging out with some brothers, and we, we, we go into the restaurant, and, 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 and they start talking to the lady behind the counter, and they start talking about this, and all of a sudden, they got Jesus all in the midst of the conversation. And I'm like, how did you do that? Mm -hmm. I'm like, next time you do that, let me know so I can write it down. <laughs> I missed it. And so, 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 like you, 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 so that, you got the gift. And it just rolls, you just go to the, you just started a just normal conversation and you all of a sudden got Jesus all in the conversation and you got them making a decision for the Lord. And so, so I want to, so how do you do that? You know, let me know, you know, sit me down, talk to me, teach me because, because but, but me, I have to, I'm like Timothy. God says, you got to do the work. Mm. It's not natural for you. It's not easy for you. Oh, you right. got to put in some effort, some work, you know, some study. You got yeah. to, you know, you got to car around these tracks and all this other stuff. <laughs> and you got to be ready. And so uh, always pray it up because yeah. you never know when God is going to open up a door. So you got to just, you got to be yeah. like Timothy. You got to do the work. See, some of us, uh, you may be listening to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm preaching to the choir because you you know how to do this. It just rolls off your tongue. And, and I, I'm, I'm jealous of you right now. But, 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 but I have to do the work. I got to yeah. got, got be in these tracks. I got two types of tracks I curry around. One is when I got time to talk to you. And one I just want to put it in your hand and all, right. and all this other stuff. And so so, so I remember um, we, 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 used to, we used to have, we used to be part of a storefront church. And next to, to, to the church that they had one of those work what the, those 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 temporary places and they yes. say work today and get paid today yes and so and so sometimes i'll be i going into the church for something and a, and a guy he, you know they come to you and they want some money yes. you know so i didn't mind so for god bless me yes they're to give you five or ten dollars you know i'm i'm blessed i'm blessed and so but guess what if i'm gonna give you <laughs> my five dollars you're going to have to listen to what I got to say. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, and so, so, so again, like I say, I would always, I would have two type of tracks. I one that I can sit there and explain because sometimes I got time. And one, I'm just putting it, I'm going to need the five dollars, I'm putting it in your hand. I, I need you to, you know, probably you're going to read it. So guess what? But, but if I'm, if I'm, God bless me to have some money to give to you, guess what? I, you got to hear what I got to say, yeah. and so 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 we see so we see this soul when it's crowned, and again understand. See these things are not things that come natural for us, but these things that again, as the vice president says, you got to do the work. Yeah. We got to put the effort in. We got to yeah. do this. Yeah. We got to be prepared. We we got because why? Because I'm doing this for God, yeah. and this is all we're gonna get to in a moment. This is all part of my worship. Yeah. This is all part of my service for him. And I'll be prepared to put a period here. Turn with me um, to Revelation chapter number 4. And let's look at verse 10. And, 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 and this is going to be our, our, our conclusion. So Revelation 4 and 10. Mm -hmm. Revelation 4 and, and, and 10. And it says... The four and twenty elders. Again, we looked at it before. This is a representation of the church, representation of you and me. So the four and twenty elders, a representation of you and me. Notice what it says. The four and twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Who is that? That is Jesus Christ. Yeah. He lives forever and ever. And, and, and ever. knows what it says, sports fan. knows what it says, live forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne. 
-hmm. cast that throne. So, 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 so we talk about these five crowns mm -hmm. that you and I just spent our blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, I don't got a. I, 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 I used, I used to go to church with a guy who was in the army, and a lot of times you, you got to be, you got to be on, yeah. on formation at five o'clock, and brother man would get up earlier than that. He would go and he would look for people he can give to give a ride to work. Yeah. And guess what? He was giving her a ride to work. Guess what? He was witnessing to him. Yeah. And so, so he did some work. Guess what? So, so yeah. I don't know about you, but 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 that bed be holding me. And so like yeah. <laughs> yeah. so but 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 but, 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 but brother, he got up early. But guess what? But these same crowns. Notice what it says that you and I and put some blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. You know, trying to serve God and God decide He's gonna bless us. He's gonna honest he's going to give us some rewards some recognition but look at what our silly selves are going to do mm -mm. we're going to take those crowns and we're going to cast them mm -mm. at jesus feet why because we're going to worship him we're going to say you are the only mm -hmm. one that's worthy mm -hmm. to receive this yeah. so guess what so, so guess what so god gives us these crowns yeah. all that we can worship him with these crowns so, so anything that God has given to you and to me in this dispensation, He's gonna to give to you and me and to the next dispensation. Guess what? We're gonna turn this into a way to worship God in spirit, also and in truth. Let us pray. Yes. Father God, we come to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, God, for who you are. Yes. And God, we thank you, God, for what you are in our lives on today. God, we thank you for giving us just this glimpse. A thing that 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 behold us down the road. Yeah. And so God help us to have a mindset. God did not to count our chickens before the hatch, yes, but to continue, oh God, to do the work and to earn these rewards, but not that we would heap them up for ourselves, but God, that we can turn them around and we can use them, oh God, to worship you in spirit and also God in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. And we thank you, and we all say, Amen. Amen. Amen.